have not washed your bra. If you put that bra inside water now, tea is made. Brown water. Tea is made. Why? <laughs> Without that bath, you're going to use perfume and, and be confusing our nose. Some of you are going to form freaky freaky. from back to front you'll be surprised that a lot of women do not know this particular tip don't wipe from back to front never ever 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 do that is it that you forget that your next door neighbor is your ek your <laughs> is next door and you might say oh my god it's clean it's very clean i wash it every day in fact i do not even poo it's pee i peed now i know your <laughs> is supposed to be clean always and it's pee you peed but the truth of the fact is that there are microorganisms associated with that place that you obviously cannot see with your naked eyes and trust me you do not want to bring those opportunistic bacteria to the front because when they get into the wrong place like in your vjj they can cause an infection so instead of wiping from back to front whether you pee or whether you poo though in fact we even know whether the last time you pooed whether you cleaned it very well just wipe from front to back like like this obviously the main aim of wiping is to wipe out why are you wiping like this why not wipe like this and wipe it inside your pockets huh you wipe this way so that you can wipe it out and into the toilet let me show you wipe this way <laughs> tip number two Use wipes instead of tissue papers, preferably unscented feminine wipes or baby wipes because these wipes are moist and they help you to wipe properly. Like they are moist, they will clean all at all. Just use wipes instead of tissue papers. Wipes are also easier to carry around in your bag, in your pocket, or whatever. And tissue papers, they leave lanes like all these tiny, tiny, tiny things around that place, and ain't nobody want that. Sis, do you want that? I know you don't. So, upgrade yourself, okay? Before you flush your wives, be sure that they are flushable. Make them not go block your toilet. Let it not go and block your... What was the English name again? Your sewage system, your drainage. Tip number three, change your underwears and your sanitary towels regularly. Some of you watching this video right now, that bra you're wearing since beginning of quarantine, you have not washed it because you're not going out, have you? Since April, you have not washed your bra. If you put that bra inside water now, tea is made. Brown water, tea is made. Why? <laughs> Wash your bra at least once in two days, at least. And draw my pillow plaques. And also, it is advisable that you change your panties every eight hours let's say you go out by 8 a.m and you come back by 4 take your bath and change your panties and wash your panties immediately you change them some of you will put inside clothes basket why why if you put me <laughs> just like your body fluids that are on that pants can accumulate and breed microorganisms. That's why it makes that cloth basket to be smelling awful. Immediately you wash your, uh, immediately, say wash. Immediately you take out your panties. Immediately you remove your pants from your body. As you're going to bath, go on, just wash it there and hang it. Also, change your pads or your tampons at least once in every four hours. I once met a girl that told me, nay. My sister, changing your pad when it's not full is wasting it. My phone is very light. One dot of bro, what am I changing it for? Me? One dot. I will just sleep it there until it's full, then I will change it because I don't have money. Eh? You mean it? You mean what you just told me now? Eh? I know that pads and tampons can be really pricey, but is it worth your health? Your health is priceless, girl. Please change your pads as often as once every four hours. Whether light flow, whether heavy flow, menstrual blood is bad blood that has been rejected from your body. Like your VJJ has said, mm, but I charm with this blood. So why are you keeping it there for long? You wanna suffocate her? Huh? Mm. 
menstrual blood breeds bacteria fast and trust me it smells awful and you do not want to be that girl that walks into a space or into a room and everybody in that room knows nah this girl don't want to have her period you don't want to be that girl it's very embarrassing also do not flush your pads pads are not meant to be flushed just wrap them properly, use a nylon, wrap it very well, discard it properly into the trash can, into the waste bin. Discard your pads properly. Please, don't just, don't just remove something like that and just drop it there like that. Inside there, open. That brings us to our next tip, bath regularly and properly. As you're changing your pads on your period, don't just change the pad and drop it into the trash can. You just change your pad and drop it into the trash can and you will not bath. When you're on your period, the smell lingers. It doesn't just take taking out the pad to eliminate the smell. You have to bath so that you can remain fresh. If you bath twice every day, you're supposed to bath thrice on your period. And there's no rule saying that if you bath three times on a regular day, that your skin will pale. If you feel sweaty, says go and go to the bathroom and bath. Make yourself fresh. You mean you are a speck. You need to be fresh at all times, okay? And when you're bathing, don't forget behind your ears, your groins, your armpits, in between your feet, that's in between your toes. Sorry, in between your toes. Those are the places that really accumulate microorganisms and smell. Also, your navel. Don't forget your navel. You wash your navel behind your ears, your armpits, your groin, your hair, and there. Yeah, in between your toes so that you'll be completely like clean as some pretty wine on my mm, sparkling don't just bath brush as well you can check my previous video on how to properly brush your teeth the link is going to be in the description box so brush your teeth properly as well and when you're done bathing you use a very suitable sweet smelling deodorant for your underarms and a, a sweet smelling perfume to you know just round up that fresh smell and make it last longer okay i did not say without bath you can use perfume and and be confusing our nose. We will not know which one we are perceiving. Whether it's the smelly armpit or whether it's fresh perfume. Please, when you bath, you use perfume, not before. Tip number five: Don't put anything up there. Like hmm. some of you will go from freaky freaky, freaky freaky. Talking about girl last night was hot. I put some ice cream up there in the kushi and it tasted so sweet. You say, you say waiting. You put waiting inside we are. Hey, hey! Don't do that, please, please don't do that, my sister, please, please. Not ice cream, not honey, not chocolate, not even soap should go up there. Nothing, nothing at all should go up there. Your VJJ is a clean girl. She cleans herself on her own, naturally on the inside. All she needs you to do is to just assist to one year, assist her small on the outside. Then you're good to go. A sufficient amount of water is enough to do this cleaning. If you must use anything else to wash them, make sure you're using an unscented feminine wash from a trusted brand. Have you heard me? Good. Because regular soaps contain glycerol, antiseptic, perfumes, and a lot of other harmful chemicals that affect the healthy balance of good bacteria down there that protects you from infections making you prone to all these petty petty toilet infections and then you start thinking it's village people it's not stop using soaps down there okay tip number six stop shaving with razors or shaving stick first of all the hair down there is there for a purpose the person that created you is very wise he knows why he put those hairs there and fine, you should not allow it to grow and become like forest. It's not what I say because I say hey, it's needed, needed there. You now leave it to be like forest. No, but you to be like forest. It also has its own disadvantages. My most recommended way to reduce the hair there is by using a small scissors to just you know trim the environments and the surrounding. Just trim it to be like low. But if you insist and your man insists that you must go bad down there then you can use wax to take the hair out but a lot of us as a butter girls cannot endure the pain of using a wax so 
I recommend shaving cream, but you have to be really careful because that area down there is very sensitive. So you have to set timer. One minute max. After one minute, you shave off and wash off. Just take out the hair removal cream and wash off immediately so that you do not get burn scars. You do not want to be that girl that has burn scars all over her jay So be very careful while you're using the shaving cream. Don't put it inside, just around the surfaces and the the outer areas okay tip number seven keep your bidet day dry at all times once you're done bathing before you wear anything make sure you towel down there very well you can get a separate towel for down there also do not stay in wet clothes for too long like if you get beaten by the rain maybe you get home change your clothes immediately once you're done swimming change out of your trunk always sun dry your underwears and your clothes because the sun will help to kill the remaining microorganisms that you could not wash out the eighth tip is avoid wearing clothes or underwear that are too tight it is advisable to wear pants that are made with breathable fabrics preferably cotton for example this is a cotton pants I don't have a nylon or a silk pant I would have shown you guys but this is an example of a cotton pant that is free it's gonna let you move freely it's gonna make you comfortable like the material is breathable to let some fresh air in it's not like your VJJ will fall apart if you wear silk or nylon or linen pants once in a while but you really do not want to wear those kind of pants every time every day once in a while, like if you can lock your door or if you have your privacy, then you can try sleeping without on these some nights. Let's A, enter the account, breeze back and bang. Number nine, don't share your personal belongings with anybody, not even your siblings. These personal belongings include your towel, your underwear, your clothes, your comb, your toothbrush. Those personal sanitary belongings that you use to clean yourself up are supposed to be personal and you should use them alone, no matter your closeness with the other person. Infections like tinnitus, that is ringworm, can spread from one person to the other through these personal belongings. If you're sharing your personal belongings, you are very likely to get these skin infections. Also, I once got lice by sharing my hairbrush and my comb. So, you can never trust anybody enough. So, just to be safe, Use your personal belongings alone. Tip number 10, wash your hands before and after using the toilet. Yes, I said before, a lot of people neglect washing their hands before using the toilet. But you forget that your hand harbors a lot of microorganisms. Like you spend the whole day touching random surfaces, pressing your phone, touching random doorknobs, and your hands are contaminated. So before you use the toilet, just wash your hands real quick then you can go to the toilet just in case when you're wiping you might mistakenly touch your interior interior with your contaminated hands and that might introduce some foreign microorganisms from your hand into that place and it might cause an infection so just wash your hands real quick go to the toilet and then after you flush wash your hands again because a lot of people must have touched that flusher also do not wait until you are very pressed before you go to the restroom not only does it destroy or damage your bladder, it doesn't allow you enough time to be able to wash your hands before using the toilet. That brings us to our next tip, avoid public toilets. Like, avoid them completely if you can. But if you cannot and you must use a public toilet, then make sure you always carry around a small sanitizer or a small antiseptic that you can use in case there's no water in the toilet to wash your hands and in case there's no water to sanitize or disinfect the surrounding then i'll advise you to stand up and do your shit like stand up and pee stand up and do whatever you want to do there because public toilets cannot be trusted but if you must sit down make sure you put a little sanitizer or disinfectant on your wipes and clean the seat thoroughly you can also use a toilet cover. There are these disposable toilet covers they make now that you can just place on the toilet seat before you sit down. And then roll a sizable quantity of tissue paper and put in the toilet, in the toilet bowl so that once you sit, in case you're going to poo or something, when you're going to poo, put a sufficient amount of tissue in the toilet seat so that when you poo, that lopum, it does not lopum and lopum back on you. 
on your interior interior so just put tissue in there so that it doesn't make that noise and doesn't splash water on you number 12 eat right and drink a lot of water you are what you eat or better put you smell like what you eat you cannot be eating fresh onions and fresh fish all week and expect to smell like oranges <laughs> Eat healthy foods and a lot of fruits and nuts like oranges, tiger nuts, coconuts, bananas, watermelons, and pineapples. Pineapple works and pineapple should be your best fruit, sis. Drink a lot of water for your skin. It makes you not to have dry and scaly skin for your body in general. Your body needs a lot of water to function. Your liver needs it. Your kidney needs it. Every part of your body needs water as you all know or majority of you know our body is made up of about 60 to 70 percent of water so you need to replace that water constantly for your body to operate at an optimum level so to know the appropriate amount of water that you should consume in a day just get your weights like your body weight and then divide it by two okay let's say you weigh 150 pounds 150 divided by two is 75 so you have to take 75 ounces of water a day to maintain your water balance in your body okay also you can also get a small portable carryable fancy bottle that can help you achieve this aim of drinking the number of ounces of water of your body weight divided by two whatever you get the gist tip number 13 and 13 quarter tip number 13 never ignore any abnormal signs or symptoms if you notice anything strange about your vjj then you need to get medical attention these signs and symptoms could include color discharge the normal color of your discharge should be like whitish or milky but if you have green or yellow discharge then you need to you need to get help if you have itchy or painful feeling down there you have foul smelling discharge you're bleeding when you shouldn't be bleeding then you need to go and see a professional gynecologist never self-medicate don't go to chemist and buy anything you see there please go to a professional gynecologist so that they can run some tests to, to ascertain what is wrong with you then they will give you proper medical attention that you require also don't only go to visit the gynecologist when you see signs and symptoms because it's very possible that before you see those signs and symptoms whatever is wrong with you must have started a, a while back whatever is wrong with you do not just start at the moment where you're seeing those signs and symptoms so regularly go to the gynecologist for frequent checkups and also so that you can detect it early just in case there's anything wrong with you you'll be able to detect it fast and early and the earlier the treatment the better the the better the possibility of salvaging your situation okay consult your gynecologist before using any birth control or lubricant you might be seeing it as a regular birth control or lubricant but they might have side effects that you are not aware of and only a professional can tell you about last but not the least abstain from sex until it is right or practice safe sex Personally, I advise you to just abstain because starting sex at an early age can come with a lot of complications. So best wait until you're legally married so that you can do anyhow with the love of your life. But if your body is too hot and you cannot wait, you cannot hold it, you cannot calm down, then make sure you always use condoms and make sure you stick to one sexual partner so that in case any complication or anything happen, you will know who you're holding. You will know who to hold but sisters seriously there are a lot of stis sexually uh, se hey, sexually transmitted infections and sexually transmitted diseases are lurking and roaming all over the place so please just play safe or just abstain completely okay okay guys that is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned one or two see you in my next video on monday Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. Thank you.